Discover the beautiful cities of Central Africa. Hello, explorers. Welcome to another exciting video presented to you by the explorer and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall explore the beautiful cities of Central Africa. Central Africa is a sub-region of the African continent comprising various countries according to different definitions. Angola, Burundi, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Chad, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Republic of Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Rwanda, and Sao Tome and Principe are members of the Economic Community of Central African States, ECAS. Six of those states, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Chad, the Republic of Congo, Equatorial Guinea, and Gabon are also members of the Economic and Monetary Community of Central Africa, CEMAC, and share a common currency, the Central African Franc CFA. However, the African Development Bank defines Central Africa as Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Chad, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Republic of Congo, Equatorial Guinea, and Gabon. Middle Africa is an analogous term used by the United Nations in its dual scheme for Africa. It includes the same countries as the African Development Bank's definition, along with Angola and Sao Tome and Principe. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Though the modern-day Central African countries does not necessarily have the most outstanding cities in Africa, they however have their fair share of beautiful cities. In this video, we shall look into the most beautiful cities in these countries and what makes them particularly unique and beautiful. Of course, in no particular other. Sao Tome Sao Tome is the capital and largest city of the Central African island country of Sao Tome and Principe. Founded in the 15th century, it is one of Africa's oldest colonial cities with a tropical wet and dry climate with a relatively lengthy wet season but a short dry season. Features of the town include the presidential palace, the cathedral and the cinema. The city is also home to schools and middle schools, high schools, one polytechnic, two markets, three radio stations, the public television station TVSP, several clinics and hospitals, the country's main airport, Sao Tome International Airport. Well known for Chiloli playing, Sao Tome also serves as the center of the island road and bus networks. Being an island city already tells that it is a beautiful place to behold, and there is no false assumption as Sao Tome's air is clear, which is a gorgeous with flora and fauna that is endemic to the city. Libreville Libreville is the capital and largest city of Gabon, an area that was inhabited by the Mpongwe people before the French acquired it in 1839. Since 1960, Libreville has grown rapidly and is now home to one third of the national population. From north to south, major districts of the city are the residential areas, Batericat, Cartier Louis for its nightlife, Mont Bouet and Nombakele, the busy commercial areas. Glass, the first European settlement in Gabon, Olumi, a major industrial area, and Lalala, a residential area. The city's port and train station on the Trans-Gabon railway line to Franceville lie in Owendo, south of the main built-up area. Several city districts provide distinct and separate benefits throughout the city. In terms of nightlife, the Cartier Louis sector is most renowned. Commercial areas within Libreville are housed in the Mont Bouet and Numbakele districts, which feature several shopping centers and stations selling purchasable goods. Olumi contains much of the city's industry, integrating production separately from the district that focuses upon other aspects. Malabo Malabo is the capital of Equatorial Guinea and the province of Bioko North, located on the north coast of the island of Bioko. Malabo is the oldest city in Equatorial Guinea, and the official language of the city and the country as well is Spanish. The culture of Malabo is very strong with art, film, theater, music and games, with the two main festivals, Traveling Film Festival of Equatorial Guinea and the International Festival of Hip Hop in Malabo being prominent. The city holds numerous museums, cultural centers which hold the history of the people, undamaged over time. The city of Malabo is a focal point for tourism in Equatorial Guinea as it has a direct connection with the main tourist attractions of Bioko Island and because of a wide range of hotels for all types of public. Among the main tourist places accessible from this city are Eureka, Lachi or Ladi Waterfalls, Basile Peak and numerous entities such as Rumbo Malabo. 
Guinea Tourism and other companies make known to the world the tourism sector of the country as well as the virtues and more tourist places. Malabo has preserved buildings from the colonial era, such as the Presidential Palace and the Palace of Justice of Malabo, as well as the Cathedral of Santa Isabel of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Malabo. Other points of interest are La Gaditana, the Casa Teodolita, the Church of Elangima, Independence Square, the Casa de Espana, and the Bay of the Harbour. Brazzaville Brazzaville is the capital and largest city of the Republic of Congo. Constituting the financial and administrative center of the country, it is located on the north side of the River Congo, opposite Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo. Since independence, Brazzaville has developed greatly and in 2013 was designated a city of music by UNESCO. Since then, it has also been a member of the Creative Cities Network. Arel, a highly regarded architect, also designed the house in the city for Charles de Gaulle when he was the leader of Free France here. Other buildings include Pierre Savorgnan de Brazza Mausoleum, the Nabemba Tower, and the Congressional Palace. The Marian Guabi Mausoleum, Brazzaville Zoo, and the Poto Poto School of Painting are also destinations for visitors and city residents. Kinshasa Kinshasa is the capital and largest city of the Democratic Republic of Congo, situated alongside the Congo River. Once a site of fishing and trading village, Kinshasa is now a mega city with a population of about 16 million. It faces Brazzaville, the capital of neighboring Republic of Congo, which can be seen in the distance across the wide Congo River, making them the world's second closest pair of capital cities after Rome and Vatican City. Kinshasa is Africa's third largest urban area after Cairo and Lagos, as well as the world's largest francophone urban area with French being the official language, while Lingala is used as a lingua franca in the street. Kinshasa is the home to much of the Congo's intelligentsia, including the political class, which developed during the Mobutu era. With a flourishing music scene which since the 1960s has operated under the patronage of the city's elite, Kinshasa also hosted a rumble in the jungle boxing match between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman in which Ali defeated four men to regain the world heavyweight title in 1974. Yawonde Yawonde is the capital of Cameroon and the second largest city by population in the country after the port city of Douala. The city center houses government offices, some hotels and the central market. The Bastos district with most homes owned by Cameroonians is home to foreign embassies and the expatriate European, American and other continental communities drawn mainly from the diplomatic corps. The presidential palace and compound are in the Etudi district. Also found in Yaoundé are the reunification monument, the sport palace and Palais de Congrès. There is a small zoo in the Mvok Betsy neighborhood. Yaoundé has a small assortment of pubs, nightclubs and restaurants. Yaoundé features a tropical wet and dry climate with constant temperatures throughout the year. However, primarily due to altitude, Temperatures are not quite as hot as one would expect from a city located near the equator, given that it has a lengthy wet season, covering a 10-month span between March and November. There you have it, Displorers, a discovery of the beautiful cities in Central Africa. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy the video, do want to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.